day I was on the street I ran into a face it was good to see We talked a couple hours and we missed all of the taxis mm. As we realized what time it was We both let out a sigh as we've always done As we turned to leave we knew this wouldn't be the last one No Cause that's how it flows When you're with the ones you love the most And even when it's time to go We know what we know We don't have to say goodbye Cause we never wonder why If we'll be seeing each other Good morning So, um Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you'll get to watch this video. Uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome to the front seat of our life. If you are a returning subscriber, if only you knew how much you appreciated. Yeah, so uh, it's on, when is it? Wednesday. Yes, it's on Wednesday morning and uh, i'm just alone here i am making some breakfast before i have to go and pick up the lady from daycare uh, i'm making some eggs uh, it's a very nice recipe i saw on facebook and i will i will not try to recreate it i will just try to to see to see what what i can tweak here and there it's just um i have my egg here why am i looking I should look more presentable here the lighting is really really off here uh, yes uh, I have egg it's just egg and it's like a toast thing yeah so uh, I will be doing a weekly vlog this week or for a couple of days because I have been doing a lot of cooking and for some reason I was asking myself, huh, why am I, why am I not vlogging this? I'm, I have so much energy to do this stuff. So uh, let's get down to making breakfast. Uh, today is just, it's not a relaxed day. I will not say it's, it's a relaxed day because for one, I am, I am finally, the sun is gone, the warmth is gone. Now it's very cold. And I have to rearrange or reorganize or resort my closet or my clothes so that the summer stuff goes away and the warmer, cooler, cozy stuff stays in the closet. Yeah. So I will be bringing you guys along with me during the day because I have to do that today. And I also have to sort out my shoes. I can no longer wear summer shoes. It's raining. It's cold. Right now, it's only reasonable shoes reasonable yeah reasonable shoes and we have to clean all the summer shoes and put them away yeah so let me show you sorry let me show you this recipe and then you can try it at home and tell me what how you did it yeah alafu um you're supposed to have avocado for this but because i don't have avocado in the fridge or in the house i will just use tomato and see what else i can use yeah Let's get down to cooking. You got a one way take it to a dead end street and you won't let go of my hand. You say if I'm going down then you come and with me guess it's all a part of a plan. Misery loves company. That's why I can't be alone. I know you want to go for me. So I just pretend I don't know any better If you pull the trigger I'll be there with you in the back of the car I just lose all my cool Whenever I'm around you I just lose all my cool
Or cacao if you'd like and then with my egg and tomato sandwich over here with some cheese uh, this is a carrot cake that i baked um two days ago yeah so it has very little sugar but it's really really yummy we've been eating it for two days i just this is the last piece and then today i will be baking a banana banana cake so we have it for snacking for the next couple of days, yeah? So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Let me enjoy my very yummy breakfast over here. You can definitely try this recipe. You can add anything you want. You can remove stuff you don't want. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a girl. It's, yeah. So see you later. Hi guys, hello, good afternoon. So uh, it's around one and I am getting my lunch ready. Uh, I'm eating leftovers from yesterday. Yesterday I made, um, let me show you guys. So this is what I made. I made some rice. This is fried, some fried rice. And then I have some minced meat with um, minji, some carrots, and a bit of potatoes, yeah? So that is what I will be warming up in the microwave. And then I can have that for lunch. Fiona has had her lunch, so it's just me, but she's always eating from my plate. So let's get to doing that. And then from there, I think everything else has been, I've done most of the stuff around the house. I can start with organizing my stuff here. So I will see you when I'm doing that. So uh, I'm still going on with the with the sorting hey. here. But I got a delivery here. So uh, it's a bag from Harold's. And I'm so excited about this purchase because it's an open it's an open tote yeah it's an open tote and it's reversible i am so <laughs> for some reason I, my bags i end up having bright it's not bright light colored bags and most of them are white or mainly white but with um with a bit of color maybe added like a design but mostly white so even when i got this i was like oh another white bag that will just come and and add onto the other white bags that I have. But it's reversible, which makes it totally I mean this is just amazing. So if I don't want the white, I can just change it out. I can just change it out. This I don't like open toads. And I'll be very honest with you, it's because I worry about my stuff. I feel like somebody has very easy access getting into your bag and stealing your stuff or just doing stuff, yeah? But this one stole my heart. And it comes with a pass. And the pass is attached onto it. So it's, it was a really good... This was a definite buy when the moment I saw it and 
even the reversible side still has the logo I mean, everything is just perfect about this bag yeah and um hard rods i know it i know it from i was not a fan of handbags until i met stefan because stefan worked for a luxury company a luxury designer company so he's very he has a very good eye for fashion and stuff that looks good and stuff that is actually really really good quality so this was a really i sh I, sh I, sh I showed it to him and then i was like oh a reversible bag that is a good idea and then it was just an idea and then it it, it got delivered so <laughs> i'm not complaining i'm so excited because i have a bag an additional bag in my bag collection i don't have a very big bag collection but i am trying so uh most of my bags in the house i put them in dust bags yeah in what are they called dust bags yes they are all in dust bags because as i said they are mostly white and secondly because uh in the in the bedroom we have skylights and most of those you don't have a cover for like when it's summer so it's it's dusty or something like that so i, I always protect my bags and this i don't know where to get a a, a big dust bag for this but i feel like i will be using it so much because it's the large size you see it's actually very very big which comes in handy when you're a mom because you have to carry toys you have to carry food you sometimes have to carry a change of clothes in there yeah so this is perfect for a mama like me and i'm so excited because harold's is a very good company so they make very good quality products it's a it's a luxury designer shop and it's a uk shop yeah so if you ever come across a harold's please buy it they're also very good with making jute bags and shopping bags and these big bags they are very very good with it yeah so uh, I, I have never shown you guys my 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 very my mini collection of my bags this is my guest bag this was like the first bag i got and we looked for it for a very very long time that's why i keep it safely here i only remove it when i am doing i am i am going somewhere for a few days and i am putting another bag inside i also used it very much when i came to germany because it was like the only nice bag i had let me show you guys i i don't have the original dust bag for it but there it is it's still in perfect condition i don't misuse this bag because stefan always reminds me ah i got you this bag when you were very green in germany so yes it's in perfect condition exactly the way it was bought i have used it a lot and you can see it it does not have any wear and tear inside or anything like that it has no money sometimes i, I leave coins here so that when i open it the next time i'm using it i'll be like ah i found money in my bag <laughs> yeah so this is like my go-to bag when i want to look serious uh, or when I'm going when I'm going away for a few days I don't know why it's not even that big but it's very convenient for me and it has a lot of pockets yeah so it has a lot of pockets yeah that is that is my guest bag uh, my second bag Oh, I was so excited when I got this. This was a very good deal I got. This is Ralph, a Ralph Lauren bag. I got it a couple of months ago. I think this was the newest, <clears throat> was my latest purchase. The, only, the last purchase of bag I made. I, I only used it a few times and it is not, I think white was not the best idea because with all the with all the with all the touching touching and this is like canvas it does not stay clean for very long so there it is it's a, it has nice straps it's white in color everything 
yeah uh, it's a bit it only it actually only has like two big pockets and that's pretty much it yeah i was so happy to, to buy this bag i have no idea why and because these bags are not struck this bag especially is not structured they normally put a blanket in there so it does not look so i can store it nicely yeah as you can see all my bags are authentic bags i don't i'm not a deep kind of girl no 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 honey we don't do that here <laughs> I don't I don't mean to brag but I, I kind of do yeah so that's my the previous purchase of bag that I got and it stays in here because I don't want it dirty this white and I, I don't want to pay a professional bag cleaner so much money to just clean my bag so I would rather it stays in its dust bag here and then I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So my next bag. This is a good one. It's a Valentino. It's a vintage Valentino. This one I got. What? There was something. There was something. There was a reason for buying this one. I don't remember. But it was also on a very good deal i saw it and i fell in love with it and i told stefan oh, you like this bag and then he, he bought it so <laughs> i think uh, people who follow me on facebook they have seen this one a couple of times it looks like that that is my valentino vintage valentino bag yeah so it's really spacious of course the space is there it has a zip as i get older i'm really preferring that my bags have zips i don't know i think for safety reasons first of all and second of all because when you have to carry so much stuff your stuff and baby stuff sometimes the bag in there everything is everywhere and i don't want to lose it so i prefer a zip a zipped bag but this one works just fine and the material inside is so different i don't even know what kind of material this is but uh, as always there is always a blanket inside to maintain the shape and as you can see it's authentic 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 it's labeled the logo is there the everything everything is you know the v is there everywhere uh, you know how you check to make sure your bags you buy it at the store you do this you do that you should always know try make an effort to get authentic products yeah so um i think that is pretty much where is my other bag it's down there yeah my other bag is down there but um i also have this one these ones are mostly the size or the maasai bags from kenya but this one i got this from italy and then i was so excited about it here yeah, play with that one i was so excited about this because it looked so unique until a few months ago then it go, it became so common so so common i got bored i want to sell it i don't like <laughs> i don't like common bags i don't know why yeah so i got it in italy but uh, i will be selling it i will just sell it so it stops disturbing me Italy. i have a kipling bag here this brand people like it so much in normally in germany you always find somebody with that bag i don't know why i i i like it it's the one bag I, that was gifted to me that i really 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 like it's kipling you know yeah it's a very known brand in germany a lot of people prefer this bag of which i understand because i when i was going to like to the hospital and all that i i carried this bag and i did not lose anything and, and the way i'm sometimes careless i did not lose anything it has like 
10, 10, 15 pockets in here. You can put everything you own in each and every pocket and it will not get lost. Yeah, so this one I only carry when I know where I'm going will be chaotic and I need my stuff protected as possible possible it's a wonderful bag it has so much storage i carry when it's raining and stuff like that i like i like carrying this bag it is very very effective yeah the last bags are the the kenyan maasai bags these ones are mostly for summer other than that i don't use them so guys that is pretty much it my other bag is down there and i don't feel like going down the stairs so uh i am hoping in the next few weeks we can build like a, a bag organization thing so i can display my bags yeah but other than that that is pretty much what i wanted to show you guys i will see you guys tomorrow good morning huh so it's very early in the morning and I was just dropping the little lady off at the daycare. I have to pick her up again in like an hour. But let me tell you, it is raining and it is cold and it is freezing. Yani, nobody lied to you that oh, in fall that you there is <laughs> there is so much slaying you can do because the rain was so much it will it's it's like this is literally cat cats and dogs uh, and then it is cold it's like four degrees i think let me check here it should be around four. Oh, yeah it's minus it's minus two degrees right now so i'm telling you it's freezing and then it's windy i was holding my umbrella like this and i almost it almost to flew me away so <laughs> i want to make a cup of hot cocoa and i was going to bake a banana a banana cake i've never baked since that day i said i will be baking i never baked and i've checked in the fridge and i don't have bananas in <laughs> anymore so i don't know if i will need to go to the store for that or find an alternative but I am freezing. Every part of my body is freezing and I'm already wearing my my what do I call them? My boots because let me show you guys. Because higher. Uh, this here are all my shoes. Uh, they are everywhere but I don't I really have no order for how I organized shoes here so i have so many shoes others are not even here but these are the boots i'm wearing i've already started wearing my winter boots now because it is there is so much rain hmm? there is so much alafu oh my god i don't know why i did not expect it like that because i wait it's raining. I I had I cannot wear my normal shoes because I wore them yesterday. They they are these normal shoes I like. I wore them yesterday, but they soaked in all the water. Alafu, uh, uh, my my jeans from yesterday was soaking in water. Yani the rain is just it's too much. So now I have to to look for very high boots, and those are the only boots i think that can manage that can keep me warm because you know with this if it's like negative two or minus two as some of you may call it if it's minus two like that alafu you wear shoes and then they soak into your socks and you stay with those socks for a while you will get sick so i cannot afford to get sick because i have to take care of fiona so anyway yesterday i came back home i i changed so quickly i washed my feet haraka haraka and then we went straight to take a nap so that i could get warm nisipate home otherwise i would have woken up with a cold today uh, so because nimepigwa na upepo sana let me make a cup of tea and then i relax kidogo tu 
and then uh, in like 45 minutes I go back and check what Fiona is doing she she's uh, a bit of the adjusting is not going so good she's used to having mama all the time and now she's in a, a room with other strangers and is wondering where did my mama go anyway I I'm sorry I forgot to vlog <laughs> yesterday and the day before yesterday oh yeah the I have remembered when I came into the house I was like huh I was vlogging this week anyway it's so nice to have you guys here I will just make a cocoa I have already had breakfast normally I prefer to have breakfast with Fiona before she leaves because it's it feels like a family moment yeah so oh, okay let's get to making coco hi guys so it's it's almost 12 30. we just woke up i came back and we just fiona was was out so we decided to sleep so i just we just woke up and i'm so hungry so before i make something i will be warming my pizza i have a piece of pizza that stefan made i think the day yesterday yeah i will have that as a quick fix and then i will make lunch later uh fiona i will give her something very quickly we, we ate like an appetizer first yeah so this goes in the microwave for two minutes and then it's ready for me to eat fiona is already eating <laughs> eating stuff she had left for breakfast so let me get that done and then oh i think for the like the lunch lunch i can make some fun some pan fried uh potatoes i have mastered how to make them really really good and then uh, i don't know with what i'm so I don't know i cannot think straight i'm so hungry so let me just warm my pizza first and then i will talk with you guys when i'm actually making lunch yeah so first things first this and that's it that's pretty much it so it's nice and ready sorry it's it's a habit i like when it's a bit there is more chili to it so that's what i'll do and then the temperatures are much better now the sun is out and let me show you guys something interesting so i have been recently since we moved Last year, during summer and during the entire warm weather thing, I had planted a lot of skooma and spinach at our old place. But because this time we was, there was so much moving, I did not plant anything and then I felt guilty. So, <laughs> I have planted my stuff in a bucket here. I always keep it near the radiator for warmth and they are growing um if you look closely here this is my cardania here and i have several of them and then i when when i saw they grew i was like you know what i am going to plant some skuma wiki and spinach so that is what is there so every time the sun is out huh? me i take my kabaket outside so that they get a bit of natural sun yeah the natural sun is very good for them so i normally just put it here alafu i leave it there alafu i just leave it there for a few hours i will put bring it back when it gets a bit colder tena so i'm hoping <laughs> in the next few weeks i will be eating i will be eating my my skuma wiki and my danias because i cannot find stuff that tastes like home here when it comes to those things yeah so that is what i am doing and i will see you guys after 
lunch when I'm making my actual lunch. So it's around 3.15. I can see Fiona is getting a bit fussy. So I want to prepare a snack for her and for me. Uh, for me, it's making a hot chocolate. Yeah, with a lot of milk here. And for Fiona, uh, she has, she got some new stuff here. I want her to try. Her dad is always spoiling her. <laughs> she, <laughs> she has like an endless supply of sweet stuff. It's always sweets and snacks and very big with that. So he got her it's like a cereal for babies yeah so i want to see if she will like it i've not even opened it yet it's still closed yeah i want to see if she will like it if she does we can move we can start doing that maybe for breakfast yeah everything is trial and error but with her, she's doing that with some warm milk. It's a bit cold. Yeah? It's still cold despite the fact that the sun is out. For me, just a hot, a nice hot white chocolate with my plastic mug. For some reason, uh, I never stop using this mug. I feel like the tea is better. Mama, taste this here. Anja? it I will eat this with some toast and then I think maybe we go take a nap there is a possibility if they, I feel like a nap is warranted at this point yeah so I will see you guys later the other day I was on the street I ran into a face, it was good to see We talked a couple hours and we missed all of the taxis mm. As we realized what time it was We both let out a sigh as we've always Hi guys, so it's Sunday We are out and about hiking mm. So, guys, uh, the ice t we are at the ice table today. The ice table technically means it was the bottom of an ocean thousands of years ago, and then the ocean moved. Yeah, so this was the bottom of the ocean. That's why we came here because that is really interesting. <laughs>
fresh drinking water for sale. Tunauza maji. Because I guess this is like the freshest water you can get. Because this is melted ice. Yeah, and when you come here during winter, they have tap. Uh, see? Running taps of clean water. I think if you come here in winter, all this is frozen. Huh? Making it quite interesting because imagine frozen, it's a frozen small lake, which makes sense, yeah? Because even now, I tried loading my phone so I can see how cold it is. No, how are your shoes passing here? Your shoes are better than mine. No, I go round. This is why I say when you're hiking, wear the appropriate shoes. Your shoes should be boots and they should be waterproof, yeah? So you can walk even through water and your feet don't get cold.
we have to wear our jackets now the hood because the rocks the rock the water from the rocks is falling like rain here oh, so cool so so cool It's a good thing we did not come here in summer. So you guys can see the height of water. It was all the way up there. And it melted slowly, slowly until this is what has been left here. What you looking for? 
vlog that I've been delaying so long. So uh, today just that one appointment and then um, uh, maybe some a bit of shopping. I need to buy some food later once I'm done here. Maybe see what if I can shop something because I'll be traveling and I need some gifts for my friends. And then that's pretty much it. I go back home here. Yeah. So I hope you will enjoy this vlog. The lighting is a bit off. But I'll talk to you guys later. I could stay forever in your arms. There are some. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry guys. I totally forgot about you. So uh, this will be the end of the vlog. It's um, morning the next day. Oh, I keep forgetting to make an outro for this video. We woke up sick today. So we are having some uji here. Some nice white uji. Uh, and today is just home. We will be home bodies today. We are not doing anything, just relaxing and watching stuff we like. Yeah. So I will see you on the next video. <laughs> <laughs>